Finally, Meghan Markle brings out the immediate reason for her divorce with Prince Harry. Closed sources reports that Meghan have not been giving a clear reason why she left Prince Harry, instead, she has made everyone believe that Harry's actions were responsible for their divorce meanwhile that was not the case. Also Prince Harry have been carrying out investigations on what exactly prompted Meghan to seek for divorce. At the end of his investigation, Harry found out that Meghan had a man whom she has been flirting with while she's still married to him she has been looking for a way to end things with Harry so he can have the liberty to carry out her flirtatious act. Many claimed Meghan has never been comfortable in his marriage with Prince Harry as she has someone in mind whom she intended to get married to. Her main aim in the royal family was to gain fame and also manipulate Prince Harry so she can get her own share of Harry's properties and also enjoy royal benefits. She believed that once she succeeds in all these, her mission will automatically come to an end as she will live a beautiful life with the person she has always wanted to be with which is however not Prince Harry. Moreover, Prince Harry savaged Rishi Sunak's conservative government on Tuesday, in his explosive high court case against a newspaper group. In a breach of the convention that royals stay out of party politics, the Duke of Sussex, 38, insisted both the government and Britain's press were at rock bottom. It came in his witness statement alleging unlawful news gathering at the Daily Mirror and its sister titles The Sunday Mirror and Sunday People between 1996 and 2010. Harry is the first senior royal to be quizzed in court since the future Edward VII gave evidence in a slander trial over a gambling scandal in 1891. He said ministers worked with the press to defend vested interests, in return for favorable coverage. Standing beneath his father's coat of arms, he said, Our country is judged globally by the state of our press and our government, both of which I believe are at rock bottom. Democracy fails when your press fails to scrutinize and hold the government accountable, and instead choose to get into bed with them so they can ensure the status quo. Mr. Sunak's spokesman declined to comment on the prince's comment, as it was part of a live legal case. In one impassioned statement, Harry branded journalists the mothership of online trolling. He said, trolls react and mobilize to stories they create. People have died as a result, and people will continue to kill themselves by suicide when they can't see any other way out. How much more blood will stain their typing fingers before someone can put a stop to this madness? Harry said he had brought the case, not because I hate the tabloid press or even necessarily a section of it, but in order to properly hold the people who have hijacked those privileges, which come with being a member of the press, to account for their actions.